All right, guys. Next one. Non-running. Um, I'm just going to squirt a little bit of uh, gas into the carburetor to check for a spark, and we'll go from there. I have a hard time seeing that uh, spark indicator when it's when it. Uh, I'm just going to tilt it. Put some go juice in here. So I have a hard time seeing the spark indicator when I'm standing behind the mower. So this way, squirt a little bit of gas in there and away she goes, right? Oh, I guess I should. I did dump the old gas out, by the way. Okay, let's see if she flies. Oh, she just yeah. Carburetor's probably clogged. How many of these do you want to see? I'm going to just tie the uh, bale down. Brake, bale, whatever, right? And we're going to squirt a little more gas in there. Get her fire. doing there was this one has the same uh, choke that automatically comes off as it runs and it was doing that as I was squirting gas in there I was making sure that choke was coming off so a carb clean we'll get her up on the lift We're going to change our tools from standard to metric. That's no problem. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to just turn you off for a minute. All right, guys, I'm taking a subscriber's advice. I'm sorry I don't remember your name. But I just did my own Honda here, well, I don't know, just a very short time ago, and I had a hard time lining everything up. And you know what? You're not, you're never too old for new ideas. So what we're going to do is we're going to not use the bolts because you still have to put the air cleaner on. And someone suggested to me that we use dowels to line everything up. Well, I don't have metric or metric bolts. To, don't have heads but here we go this should almost work as long as I keep this rod on the right side of the choke let's have a closer look there we go and all I did with this carburetor was clean it so you guys saw me try and start the lawnmower with gas and la 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 so now we can mount the rest of this because there's still a couple pieces left on the air cleaner right and we can put that right on there the uh, linkage is already hooked up for the, for the throttle. Right here, sorry. Don't wanna, I don't want to get anything out of line. And now we just put these on the dowels too. 
That's just too darn cool. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs> Use my brain instead of my back. All the little holies line up. Okay. And then we can get this started on here. Just plug the PCV valve hose in or PCV hose in. Now I can replace these bolts. Ah, uh, good thing we got two. Good. Okay, that guy's down here somewhere. You guys know me, I drop stuff. I am just going to tighten it up a little bit. Now I'll do the other side. That's a great idea. See, too soon old, too late smart. suggested that. Now we just have to make sure the choke's on the right side. Yes it is. Choke on off, choke off. So this is going into my carburetor kit, these two little dowels. They're just, I don't know, I think they were a safety sign or something for snow, you know. Okay, now we're just going to tighten this up. Turn on the fuel. This girl should go. But while I've got it up here, I'm going to just uh, wipe it down a tiny bit more. So I'll get set up on the ground and we'll see if she goes, guys. Okay, guys. You are going to witness the first start of the demo after the car cleaning. Make sure the choke comes on. Yep. Here we go. And you might have noticed that that uh, choke came off about three or four seconds after it started up. So that's pretty cool. Thanks, guys.